Welcome. Today's lesson is how to judge broccoli. So let me give you some perspective on broccoli. It's from the cabbage family with the scientific name Brassicaceae or Cruciferae. It's in the cold crop uh, group. The cold crops are those kinds of vegetables like cauliflower, uh, some of the leafy greens. Those uh, are usually grown in fall and winter months because it needs a kind of a cold snap to uh, get it to maturity. And the thing that we actually eat in broccoli, yeah, they're the flowers. These little bitty green things as you see on this picture here, the little beads as I'll call them um, as we are doing the judging, those beads are actually the florets. It's like giving somebody a basically a bouquet of unopened flowers. Try it sometime. It might work. The other thing, did you know that 90% of all the processed broccoli comes from what state? That's right, California. And we would never have had James Bond's movies if it wasn't for broccoli. Well, kind of. A gentleman by the name of Albert Broccoli, an Italian-American, produced, or basically paid for, 17 James Bond's movies. He was the guy that was actually brought Ian Fleming's stories to life on the big screen. And I, I'm sure we're all much better for it. Before we start judging broccoli, let's take a look at some, uh, some factors. One of them is trim. And how it's presented in the store is of great importance, as well as how important it is for shipping. The stalks and the heads shouldn't be any more than 9 inches in length or any less than 5 inches. Second model is the bead. The bead is really important. Let's take a look at this picture that shows you. The one on the left uh, shows you tight, compact, dense beads. The florets, the flowers, the thing that we eat. They should be of, of good quality in terms of having it closed up really tight. If you look on the right-hand side, these particular uh, florets are elongating. They're opening up. They're separating the clusters. And that's called uh, these flowers are becoming, or these beads are starting to become flabby. Um, I call it flaccid. The other thing that we ha we're looking for is cleanliness. They should be free of any kind of disease. They should be free of any kind of dirt in particular. Damage. Uh, damage is mechanical or environmental damage. Sometimes when they're packed in boxes, um, they can, when they're trimming, especially some of the wrapper leaves, can, can sometimes uh, uh, basically chop off some of the beads and obviously use some of your product. And if we take a look at this damage, like for instance, uh, the environmental damage, it got a little dewy, and then of course the dew turned into to, um, uh, bacteria, and it's starting to break down some of the florets and leave gaps and holes and loosens up the head that way. Our next thing is compactness. When we talk about condition, we're talking about how compact it is. Compact is a product. If it's compact, heavy, or dense, that tell it's telling us we're getting a lot of product uh, for for our uh, broccoli. And then firmness. Firmness is is essentially how tightly packed those those particular uh, beads are. And what that d does is it kind of helps it keeps it together. And when it is kept together, it ships much better. Now, here's an example of what I mean by compact, full, uh, dense heads. This is an exa a pretty good example. It looks like a canopy of a tree. It's of, of fairly good, um, and in particular, dark color and green. And you'll notice the proper trim, so there's a bit of a stalk. And if you see, there isn't much separation between each of the clusters and each of the beads. So that is a great example for a firmness and compactness color. Color is really important, especially on the retailer showcase. It should be of dark green. Sometimes you'll see maybe a grayish or a blue green, and that's perfectly acceptable, primarily because those are, are probably different varieties. And then the stock. We've talked about a little bit of, of that. That should also be in good condition. It shouldn't be pithy. Um, it shouldn't be hollow. A hollow a, a stock looks like this. And the problem with the hollow stock is as the, it cracks out, it loosens up some of the clusters and they might fall off and you'll lose product and you usually can also uh, introduce things like a soft rod. So let's go ahead, but I'm going to give you three minutes to visually inspect our sample. I have some still pictures as well as some video. So you have three minutes to judge. I uh, want you to go ahead and, and uh, essentially just sit back and watch and then of course turn it off at the end and then you can come up with your reasons and we'll see you back in three. Thanks.
Well, how'd you do? Well, over this next uh, course of time, I'm going to just give you a very quick critique. And so you can see what it sounds like and also pick up some terms, I hope. So here's my best shot at it. In today's class of broccoli, I scored it 3, 2, 1, and 4. In my top plate today, I put plate number 3. Plate number three was an outstanding uh, sample today, primarily because of its good characteristic color, it's compact, it's dense, and also it's uniform beads. This one shows a lot of shelf life still left in it, primarily because of its, it's fairly well trimmed. I'd like to see a little bit more on it, but for the most part, this is going to be a good example of what a retail showcase should carry. When I take a look at my second place today, I put plate number two. Plate number two, I will grant that it also is a compact head, but it's not a as, as compact as number one. This one's a little bit separated, shows a little bit more age, and also it's not properly trimmed. It's a little too uh, trimmed for, for me in, in, uh, when, in comparison to plate number three. So it's poorly trimmed, but uh, I, I grant that it is a tender, fresh, sh uh, succulent head today uh, in the Retailer Showcase. In place three, I put plate number one. Plate number one was separating. It was a fairly dense uh, head of broccoli, but it was starting to separate, and some of the beads were starting to, to be a little bit more mature than they should be. Some are beginning to open, not uh, uh, totally. So this one is older still, and it's ending the life. It's coming to the end of its shelf life. It's fairly well trimmed, but I had to put it in third place prim primarily because of its age. It's opening up, and it's not going to be that fresh, a fresh, crisp uh, kind of broccoli that we're looking for for to, in today's market. And then in fourth place, I think it's an obvious um, a, a bottom uh, plate. This is plate number four. Plate number four really lacks the color and eye appeal of all the other ones in the other class. It's loosening up, so it's only fairly compact. It also has quite a bit of mechanical damage. It looks like it's been on the retailer showcase a little bit longer than it needed to be. It's kind of losing its, its color. It's separating. It looks like it's also bruised. Now, for these reasons, I place this class of broccoli in the order of three, two, one, and four. All right. Well, there you have it. Our cuts are two, four, and six. Well, to wrap things up, I'd like to share a quote with you. It says, mankind is great or little by its own will. Every day, we have an opportunity to make a positive difference. We get to choose that every day. Your day depends on your choice. Attitude is 10% what happens to me, 90% of it, how I, how I decide to react to it. And I think that's really important. Every morning we have a clean slate. We wake up and as the day goes on, we get to choose which side of the fence we're going to be on. On the positive progressive side or on the negative and I'm just going to uh, weep about my problem side. So remember, it's your choice every day to make a positive impact. Well, that's it for today. I hope that has helped you uh, with your uh, judging on broccoli in particular. And you know, it's just around the corner. Our next contest is, is just a, a week or so away. I hope I'm going to see you at Arbuckle. And um, I'll see you at the next contest. Thanks. Bye.